What's up guys, so I'm here at Wakefield Park, gonna get a short run in, I don't know the distance, I'm just gonna meet up here with Hung, and I'm just sipping on some Gym 1 Sport, which is an electrolyte powder that you can mix with water, just to ensure that you don't get too fatigued, you don't lose too much glycogen, and to ensure that you stay hydrated, so I'll leave that link down below if, you're so if that's something you're interested in, it's just gonna help you with your performance and make sure that you don't get too dehydrated, and you don't fatigue as quickly as you would just drinking solely water. Another thing I want to show you guys is I got a new pair of running shoes. They're called Hoka's Arachi 6. And look, pretty nice, right? Feel pretty good. A lot wider than I expected. But the shoe itself, like for your foot, it's not that wide. But the actual shoe is wide, if that makes sense. But yeah, really nice and comfortable shoe. And I feel like now I can actually run longer distances and you know run more on my midfoot than on my toes just because it this shoe offers a lot more cushioning than my pegasus 39s but overall really good shoe and i've been enjoying them adding them into my rotation of running shoes I know he will. Great four mile run yeah. with the man and only, the one and only, sorry, yep. Hung Trung. Great trail run. Nice little trail run. Four getting uh, getting accustomed to the to our future race. Yeah, trail run. We're adapting from road to trail. Yes, sir. We got our trail shoes on. We're ready for those PRs. Yes, sir. We did a couple hills today. How's yeah. that? How's, it, how, how's the legs feeling? Pretty good pretty fresh I I can do like four more you know <laughs> for sure for sure I was feeling good because yeah. of you thanks bro uh, yeah. but yeah great stuff today um, I'm gonna get hung to film me real quick get some b-roll for you guys because you know you got to create a storyline right. right that's right <laughs> let's do it let's, let's make the get video it. and so understanding this is the best advice I'm going to give the best advice I'm gonna give is understand What's up guys, hope you're just having a wonderful day. Today is Thursday, December 15th, and it is a cold, rainy day. It's currently 35 degrees out, and uh, I'm here in the car, procrastinating, debating whether I should go on this run. Um, I know it's just gonna be like this all day, and I need to get that mileage because I took yesterday off, hoping that I would, you know, feel a lot better, save that energy, and just go on a nice long run. So since the weather is so cold and rainy, I might just be hitting, you know, anywhere from four to six miles, depending on how I feel and if the rain, you know, settles down or if it picks up, that's gonna also affect it because I don't want to get sick. Uh, I know I'm gonna be moving, but I just don't want to be soaking wet. I'm gonna be wearing this rain jacket. I have another one under this, but uh, yeah, running in cold, rainy weather is probably oh my goodness I, I hate it i hate it so much <laughs> but uh I'd, i honestly would prefer if it snowed but that's not the case and uh yeah i had a wonderful morning workout with brother ferris hit some plyos so my legs are feeling nice nice and strong right now but yeah ah but yeah i'm just gonna have to push through suck it up 
and uh, just go on this run. So hopefully, uh, let me turn off this. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to suck it up and go on this run and push through it. And uh, I know if I can do it in this weather that it's gonna be a breeze whenever I do it in the spring season because it's gonna be a lot warmer and it's not gonna be freezing cold. But yeah, you gotta take those precautions as well. You don't wanna be reckless and just running you know, in this cold, rainy weather because you might get sick and then it's gonna hinder on your progress if you, you know, you end up getting sick. So it's important that you dress, you know, appropriately going into this run because you don't wanna get sick. You wanna stay as dry as possible. Running when you're soaking wet is probably one of the worst feelings. So that's why, you know, I'm wearing two rain jackets. I know it's a little bit too much, but I just wanna make sure I'm dry for as long as possible and just stay warm as well because those are things that are gonna you know prevent me from getting sick but yeah let's go uh on this run it's a great day to get better as always and i'm gonna take you guys along i'm gonna take my phone with me and film you know maybe like halfway through the workout or towards the end to kind of give you guys an update so i hope you guys enjoy this video so i'm wearing the hope goes right now as you can tell very very gloomy day about to start this workout got the the ultra right now so let's get started ready three two one and we're off oh. so yeah feeling pretty good oh. it's a bit muddy here Hop. Oh. i'm gonna run through some mud for the first part but then the rest of the run it's gonna be strictly pavement so hopefully it goes well i'll check in you guys in a little bit oh shit what's up guys so three and a half miles in turning around heading back i'm a bit soaked my shoes are wet my socks are wet but i'm um, feeling pretty good right now if it wasn't so rainy I probably try to hit at least 10 miles today, but since I'm kind of soaking wet right now, I'm just gonna hit for seven. So right now, sticking around like a 750 mile pace, which isn't too bad. I'm trying to like pick and shoot moments where I want to speed up and then kind of slow it down, get that heart rate up and get it back down. And then, you know, try to get those legs moving quick. So. I'll check in. I'll check in with you guys towards the end. What's the guys? So almost done. About let me try. about five miles in. Two miles left to go, and uh, this is what I have to deal with. These big ass puddles, and that's a small one. I have to deal with these streams. But yeah, overall feeling good. Just a bit wet. <laughs> but yeah, go one more baby, push through it. And it's always a great day to get better. So let's finish this strong. Vamos. All right guys, so I finished uh, my run, ended up hitting six and a half miles. And uh, I ended up walking for like half a mile because I had to use the bathroom really bad. And luckily I made it in time, but uh, that's to go. <laughs> I think I just ate too much last night, and um, but overall feel great. Gonna head home, take a hot shower, and uh, I'll check in with you guys and give you like a full update of the run. Yeah. 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 